Hello, I'm Helen Bradley. Welcome to this video tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll show you how you can cut a custom shape out of an image and save the resulting image as a ping image, complete with the transparency. Before we get started with this tutorial, let's look and see what it is that we're trying to achieve. This was actually a question that was asked of me by a viewer. And what they wanted to do was to create a ping image like this in Photoshop. They wanted to be able to cut a custom shape out of the image and then save it as a transparent image. And they wanted to do it in an effective way. And so what I've come up with is a very simple way of using a custom shape to cut an element out of an image. And it uses a masking technique that is quite interesting and that I think you're going to enjoy. So let's get started. To get started, I've got my image open in Photoshop and I'm just going to drag the lock icon here from the background layer and just drop it into this area here. And that just turns it into a regular layer. And then we can add a layer mask to it. What we're going to do is add our shape to the layer mask. So I'm going to click on the layer mask so it's selected and then click the custom shape tool. And I already have my shape selected. I'm going to use this bent arrow here. So I've got the shape selected. What I'm going to do is make sure that I have pixels selected here because we want to fill this shape with filled pixels. And I'm making sure that black is my foreground color. So I'm just going to drag on the image to create my arrow. Now this arrow is going to go in the wrong way, but that's fine. In a minute I can solve that problem. So I'm just going to draw out pretty much what I think the arrow is going to be. And because I have the mask selected, what's happened is that Photoshop has filled this area with black and black makes the layer transparent. So we're seeing through the layer. Now what I want to do is to manipulate this shape a little bit, but at the moment the layer mask and the layer are linked together. So I need to click here to unlink them. And then I need to see what's on this mask. So to do that, I'm going to Alt or Option click on the mask. And that lets me work on the mask in isolation. So it's not affecting the image right now. So I'm going to click on the Move tool and here is my arrow. So first thing I need to do is to flip it. So I'm going to choose Edit and then Transform and I'm going to flip Horizontal. And I can just move it into position. Now this is a little bit of trial and error because I can't actually see the mask and its effect on the image. And also you'll find that Photoshop probably breaks this up a little bit. But just ignore that because in actual fact it's going to be fine when I just click back on the mask and that's going to fix it into position and then let's lock these two layers together and again go and reselect the image and so we've got this transparent shape on the image. Now we can do all sorts of things with that. We could put a colored layer underneath. We could put all sorts of things underneath this layer. But in the case of my reader who asked the question, what she wanted was a ping image that had this transparency in it. So if you want that, just going to add a new layer to this image. And then I'm going to move that layer underneath the image layer and click on the image layer again so it's selected. And then press Control or Command E. And all that does is to merge the layer with the mask in with the empty layer. And the effect of that is to end up with a single layer image that has this transparency in it. And we're ready now to save that as a ping image. Just choose File and then Save As. And then from the Save As type drop down list, because we want to save ping, because we want the transparency in the image, just going to make sure that we have ping selected. I'm just going to call this Transparent Road Trip. And just click Save. So that's how you can cut a shape out of an image in Photoshop using the custom shape tool and a mask and then save the resulting image as a ping image that has the transparency built into it. I'm Helen Bradley. Thank you for joining me for this YouTube video tutorial. If you like the tutorial, please consider subscribing to my channel. You'll be alerted when new videos are released. And visit my website at projectwoman.com where you'll find more tips, tricks and tutorials on a range of applications, including Photoshop, Lightroom, Illustrator and a whole lot more.